Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be planning in my dashboard happy planner for the week of November 27th, which includes the 1st of December. And because it includes the 1st of December, I am going to do my first weekly Christmas spread. And I am going to use Seasonal Whimsy. And I have had these adorable ornament designs picked for quite some time so that is what we are going to use today these really cute ones awesome i'm just doing a quick flip through to kind of get everything refreshed and we can start So on Monday, we have, I have to do payroll. So let's put that in green. <clears throat> and December is a four, uh, is a three payday month. So that's really great. So, Monday I have that. The 30th is financial check-in day for the end of the month. Let's do this one. Okay. something that day as well Friday I'm actually seeing we have quite a lot so I think I'm gonna do that one with the big pink box I am going to do the first decorative box here to kind of break up these two boxes. So we'll do that on Wednesday. Okay. And I think I'm going to pull this and do a different color. Then. I'll do green, a green one there. That's cute. I think I'm gonna do this one. Because we do have some stuff going on on Saturday. We pretty much have like busy weekends every weekend now until um, the end of the year. I, f I feel like it's just the nature of, I feel like it's just the nature of the holiday seasons and Christmas and the end of the year. We're super happy about it. It just does take a lot of planning. Okay. And then Sunday can do maybe I can do this smaller pink one because I do want to bring in this pink because you all know me yellow pink
Okay, great. So that's rough layout for the week. Uh, let's do these like normal. Okay. And I think I'm going to do four. super cute okay and now we'll go decorative I wonder if this is too big I'm gonna do it Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, great. Yes. Okay. And then I have this one already. Let's do this one. And this star one. tear that because it's such a pretty shape okay okay I need to turn it because I'm kind of tearing it already let me put these down and then I know that that's the one I'm gonna grab next okay let's do this one here One here. Okay, that feels good. Now we'll pull this one next. I did not anticipate this being this difficult, so that's kind of funny. I just like do not want to tear it. It's so cute. Okay, we did it. I might do this one here. Or here. Yeah. It's so cute. Okay, I love that. Um find a couple of smaller ones if I can. Small. We'll do that one here. I don't know if I think that's cute. I kind of think it is to kind of connect those. Okay. And then we just need like one more up here. Like an interesting shape. I'm thinking this one. Yeah. 
do I want that? Or we could do like a, maybe a quote. I just remember the quotes in this book being really big. See, they're not really like small enough to put in there. I do not know if this one's going to let me pick it up and I don't want to, back to not wanting to tear it. Because I think I could put this one up higher, like I could squish it the way I was originally wanting to do it, like here. Actually, I'm not going to move it. I like it where it is. It's fine. And then for this one... It's going to go somewhere. I just don't know where yet. Maybe here. Yeah. I think that's cute. Okay. And then we'll do a couple of these little holly type things with some of these stars. really cute holly stars I do like a couple more okay cool I think I might have been off camera pulling those and then we'll do this holly can go Bye, I think I'm going to swap these. I think I finally figured out what will be cuter and just like a better use of the space um because again if you have not watched my plan with me's before my planning style is such a delicate balance of decorative and functional planning at the same time I need to be able to actually write what I'm getting done in this planner. In one of my last videos, I was saying how <clears throat> this is my first full year of using the dashboard layout, and I have loved it so much. It has been so just like adorable, and it's really worked for me. Um, so I just want to like keep that up. I'm going to do these next to each other, I think, is what ultimately is going to happen. Just because that makes more sense. I don't like them stacked on top of each other. And their color scheme kind of goes together. And I just won't track as many habits this week. And then up here, I can just do the holly to fill space. That's cute. And then we can do the stars just everywhere and then I want to see I think I see the one I'm looking for like a bigger white star perfect 
that one can go here. Oh, is that what I want to do? And here I will put this one. cute. I think this can go up here maybe. Okay. Flip through one more time and see if there's anything else decorative that I want to bring in. But honestly, I really think it's super cute. I still have this one. Um, and I've been, what I've been realizing is because it's going to be so busy, I'm going to need to implement some daily planners or some daily pages, uh, particularly this month. So I'm thinking about using like a few little stickers here and there that I've left from these big themes to make the dailies. And then that'll be a super cute way to like keep myself focused and remember all the things that need to get achieved. Okay. It's super cute. I love it. Guys, surprise, surprise. Yet another simple, functional spread for me. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that I share. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye!